Hey, hey, Jeez! Welcome back to my Magic Rebel Reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 5 today. This is the reincarnated princess and the genius girl that is something something magical revolution, whatever. It's such a long title. I'm never gonna try it ever again. I'm gonna keep trying it. And I'm gonna keep failing. And you're gonna like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is episode 5 and last time we have a dragon on our mids. Uh, I was like, I'll fight the dragon if it means I can uh, have control over my life, blah blah blah. And then uh, Anis and Yuvi were like, we're gonna fight the dragon because we're great and we're cute and we're gay. And it's <laughs> I like the whole concept of freedom and uh, how Yuvi yearns for having like autonomy, even though she does not understand how to have autonomy or what it means to have autonomy exactly even though it's the one thing that she sees within Anis and then Anis is the one that sees this perfection beauty in Yuffie um uh, I'm just gonna write down Magi 5 okay just to make sure I know which episode this is okay we're gonna do that I think that's all there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video a picture and picture version which you can find in the description below and a time based version which you are watching right now if you want to sync up your image to the time based version, you can do that with the same count does and count down for 5 because that's what they do. And 0 is the same frame I just starts playing on my screen. Uh, let me just fuck. Timer will go here. My stomach is hurting a bit. So 5, yeah. Okay. The stamp is coming. Okay. Oh, Palatia. Uh, is this the first time we heard the kingdom's name? I don't know. If Ronnie is our baby, discussions will be back over on YouTube. Would really help out if you check those out. Thank you to the Patreon teams to the beginning and end. I'll only show all the names uh, on the timer base. Um, they, they get these videos a week early in advance. If you want that, leave it down in the description. It's going to be polls up by the time this airs, I believe. So check those out as well. If you want to check out the polls, um, I have videos up for it. Also, uh, there's not that many patrons, so you can easily tip the scale with one vote. If you know what I mean. Just a dollar a month. Yeah. Plug is done. They're so adorable together. They're just so cute. Look at them. Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Junior Sound Lady. Let's go volume up now. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to hug me tighter. <laughs> Mm. Interesting. Huh, interesting. Well, Oh, interesting. 
You're dedicated to your craft. <laughs> Frightening, how so? Interesting. Dedication, I like it. Yeah, hug Steiner, nice. Yeah, rub your boobs onto my back. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, we're not animating this, okay. She's shaking. Oh no! Rida! Attack! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I just sliced it in half. Okay. That's a pretty interesting perspective shot. Yeah, she flies. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Been a while. <laughs> so. I like that they just trust this girl. Even though they should know that she's the princess. There we go. That's that's a more realistic response. Yeah, let's go. Wait, where's your broom? Of course, I'm OP! <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Now make culture. That's that's making out in the uh, Zentradi terms. Rumble ball. <laughs> ah, rumble ball. <laughs> no. There's a few side effects. <laughs> They're legal. So it's like eating caffeine pills. Um, um. Okay, let's go. Whoa, that does not look safe. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> her voice. <laughs> mats, we gotta grind for some mats. Please animate this part. Yeah, oh, yes, that's better. Nothing too crazy, but still, nothing, nothing too good as well. It's just okay. Woo! Oh, nice. Even cut off the club. 
She likes slicing through in the middle. She she's going a little crazy. Fireball! <laughs> Hell yeah, Megumin! Just pull a Megumin on us. <laughs> yep, that's a Megumin. Complete with an incantation. Explosion! Okay, that's a dragon. Oh. She's got crazy, yes. I want to kill it. It's so beautiful. I want to kill it. Broom. She's so, she's worrying so much. I don't blame her. Anis is acting kind of off. <laughs> she just had too much caffeine in those pills. Ajime <laughs> Mashte, let's go. Is it, is it me or is there sword longer in this one? Can't do anything? Uh huh. Oh no. Okay. Nice. Wow, that is cool. Are those CG flames? No, no, they're not. Never mind. They look like a mix. I'm not entirely sure. Shield. Oh no. Catch me, UV. Oh, you're getting faster. Haste spell. Oh, it's near the ground. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Us tense. Hmm. Should be. Didn't do anything to the dragon. What do we do? More pills. Just worrying about you. I can see that. Yeah.
Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Wow. How are we going to do that? How are we going to beat it? Okay, help me out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, sword! Broom! Yeah, let's go! <sighs> Excuse me! Sorry! Exhausted? Okay. Oh, so we're gonna attack its wings. Okay. Nice. Nice! No, nope, no effect. You know the spells are good if it's spoken in broken English. Okay. Cut off its wings. Let's go. Ah, uh, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice. Got a wing down. Next wing. Okay. I'm so yawning today. Excuse me. That's a big shadow ball. <laughs> oh no. What do we do? Watch Al comes down. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, so we can cut the ball itself.
Where are these limits are? Let's go! Hell yeah! Pull, it, pull an Excalibur on us! Oh my gosh, she's bleeding! That's pretty cool. That's a really cool shot. Okay, giving her mana, I think? Maybe? Ugh! Can be made possible! Yeah! It's meant to be made possible! Mm. Woo! That is sick! Nice! Nice, nice. Did it break? Gotta get his magic sight. <laughs> Slain the dragon. Don't tell me it's gonna wake up. Oh god, no. What? What? It can talk. Gotcha. Wow. Is he putting a curse on her? Is that a curse or is it like a blessing? Maybe forever. Oh, it is a curse. What what's the curse gonna be? Okay. Said it's wisdom, she said. So that's interesting. Parties! And she's just there. But Yeah, they're boring. Parties are drag. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> hey! Let's dance! Come on, come on. Let's do it. Everyone's gonna stare at them. You just hate men. <laughs> uh, oh, they're just outside. That makes sense. Now make culture. Make out. Hmm. Yeah, probably. <sighs> oh, she was saying this out loud. I thought she was taking this. Al didn't even come to fight the dragon. That's the fun of her. That's the fun part of her.
Yuffie. Yuffie. That's all about this episode. That's next episode, right? Getting the truth of the annulment and the also the game. fascination and the fascination. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna get an idea as to we're gonna go with an owl most likely because of the annulment. So that makes sense. Um, this is a good episode. Um, I talked about this multiple times before, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm scared of Isekai because a lot of the times I, I see something interesting for the first two or three episodes, and then it just falls flat. And then this kind of episode is one of those um, times where it feels like it's gonna fall flat because. Oh, we're just fighting a dragon and we're just gonna do blah blah blah. No, we actually made it into a character study, a character growth, a character development focus. And it works so well, just the idea of the dragon and everything. <clears throat> uh, I like the idea of saying that um, uh, mages, magicians make it so that the impossible becomes a reality, becomes possible. Um, that's very honest <laughs> and that's very um, thematically relevant because um, as I said I don't like it when an easy guy just goes oh we're just gonna throw a giant fucking monster and make it so that everyone's scared and then we can show off the main characters like we always been super strong that's what happens <laughs> and then uh, yeah um, that's what I was scared of but no I actually made it into a thing where it's thematically relevant. We're gonna make something that is impossible possible, and we're gonna make it so that um, uh, our characters, Anis and Yuffie, both see each other in a new light because of it. It's great. It's really good. I don't know what else to say. It's actually super interesting. I don't know. But to be perfectly honest, I don't have that much to say other than that. Other than a few more things. But other than that and a few more things, I don't have that much to say. It happened like the way I... I kind of expected it to go, except it's actually a lot better than that. It's basically the same thing, but better, if that makes any sense. It's what I expected it to be, the same thing like that, but it's better. <laughs> so, yeah. And this is kind of crazy. Um, I like the concept that uh, the adventurers are like, Oh, it's her, the princess, she's gonna kill the dragon. And then the captain is just like, are you sure? Are you, are you sane? <laughs> Which is a very interesting thing to point out because the moment she took one of the pills, she went kind of, she went kind of crazy, she went kind of hyperactive, um, and that's kind of scary. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it really does remind me of the Rumble Ball of uh, Chopper from One Piece. I believe that's called a Rumble Ball. Rumble something. It's Rumble something. Uh, it's different though because uh, it gives him transformations, which is a spoiler for One Piece. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk about One Piece like that. I shouldn't talk about other shows when I'm talking about this. Like, that's something that I did in Shirobaho, which I'm doing again. And because, uh, yeah. The first few episodes I keep talking about uh, freaking Angel Beats because of the same studio and the same people working on it. Uh, this one, I don't, literally don't know most, if not all, I'm not entirely sure if I missed anyone, of the people working on the show. So, um, yeah. I like the concept that uh, freaking Anis just first... I, Anis's first impression of the dragon is it's so beautiful. Which has always been her thing, her fascination of this world. Uh, I like that. Um, I do like that aspect of Anis because we know this is an isekai and we still don't know uh, what kind of person Anis was before. But what's really interesting is that a lot of isekai would actually make it so that the characters are like, oh, so that's what it does. And then they just kind of go around it because of the knowledge that they have of the former world that they came from. And then they become, <clears throat> they kind of use it to their advantage. Whereas Anis is genuinely um, appreciative of what she's experiencing. She's genuinely curious and genuinely let's uh just 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 curious and uh, yeah those two words <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> so it's very interesting as well that later she went and said that this thing took away the smiles of so many people because that's very 
not very, but it's slightly contradictory to what she said earlier, which is the idea that oh, she just finds this really pretty. <laughs> that's that's really interesting. It's a contradiction within herself, but it makes perfect sense because it's like the whole concept of actually taking into account that this is a real world that she's in, and also taking into account that she is fascinated by it at the same time. And a lot of the times, Isekai would either go one route. Either they just go, they're just fascinated by everything that they see, or they just don't, or they just consider this like a game or something along those lines. So yeah, that's really fun. Um, Animation-wise, nothing too crazy. Uh, I talked about how it's still good. Like, it's still good. Like, I'd say... Eh, one of the better looking isekai. Uh, I can't compare it to anything else at the moment. Because I know for a fact that SAO actually has some amazing animation. Some. Uh, they're not always amazing, but there's some great animation in it. Especially in later arcs, which I didn't watch because I only watched part of season 1. Um, and also, it's not really an isekai. It's, like, it's kind of it's an honorary isekai. It's okay. <laughs> um, the best thing I can compare this to is probably Shield Hero, first season, never watched season 2. Um, in terms of animation, there's like, it's not too dynamic, it's mostly not dynamic at all, but it's, <clears throat> it's still good. Mm, they still do really cool shots and perspectives, like like the shots with uh, whenever freaking Anis cuts a monster in half, and then you see the camera, camera invitations through the monster, that's always a really, really neat thing to do. So yeah, also explosion, just ripping off Megumin. <laughs> no, it's it's not ripping off, I know it's not ripping off. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know, I was watching, um, I think it was two days ago, I was watching this an explosion in this wonderful world earlier with a friend, because I don't think I would ever watch that on the channel, so I was watching it. We reached episode 11, and then, um, I don't know. <laughs> And Megumin is fresh in my brain, and also I freaking love Megumin because she's adorable. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty cheesy thing that uh, freaking anime, especially Isekai does, is the broken English spells like Greater Penetration, Rivet, like freaking Einzel going saying all of his buffs in one go, <laughs> and it just sounds so. Japanese, even though it's English. <laughs> it's English. Um, uh, uh, again, the fascination with magic is also interesting, and then there's also the fact that it's freaking Yuffie, so she's even more interested in it because it's Yuffie. Um, I do find it interesting that Anis didn't ask for help. Um, I wonder where we're going with that, if we are going anywhere with that, or is this the end of that? Because um, it feels like uh, Anis is very sociable, but uh, she actually takes her job, like her job if you will, <laughs> in quotations, way too seriously and is kind of desperate and not desperate, but is willing to sacrifice anything for her job. So that's interesting. Um, so I do like the fact that it's freaking uh, Yuffie this time that initiates the conversation of we need to be together because it was always Anis in the beginning, beginning four episodes. It was always Anis initiating the conversation, initiating, initiating anything to happen, anything for Yuffie to do, she initiated. So yeah, that's always interesting that uh, it's on the different side now. It's also interesting that Anis doesn't seem to be that scared of dying like i mean she goes and says yuffie blah 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 and it feels like she's regretting it but this is this doesn't feel very this doesn't feel as tense as i thought it was gonna be where it's just about to die <laughs> and yeah i don't know i do like the, the fact that uh yuffie just kind of slaps the freaking medicine out of her hand because the medicine did make her kind of go crazy and I get the feeling that's part of the reason why she was acting that way uh, the, the reasons why I kept saying like this felt weird like is she, why, did, why, is she, why does it feel like she's not that concerned about dying all those stuff seemed to uh, 
come from the medicine industry. I don't know. And then this conversation is super adorable. I love it. They need to make out. <laughs> okay, so we need to take down the wings and then we can do a better job at it. Okay, the cutting of the wings uh, went too crazy. Oh uh, no, it's actually that the ball attack, the energy attack that was super cool looking. Um, down, okay. They can't. They can't uh, run away from this. Otherwise, the other guys will be attacked. That's interesting. Okay, and then we go full Excalibur on them with a red Excalibur, basically. This is pretty over here. Yeah, this is super pretty, especially near the end. Yeah, the cutting of it. Woo! Four frames per second, I think? I don't know. And then cut off. Woo! And then, yeah. That's. Oh, yeah! That's so good looking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Like, um. Nothing too crazy, but it's still pretty crazy compared to the other fights that we've seen this episode. They were saving the budget for that specific scene. Also, I don't get the curse. What's up with the curse? She said like words or wisdom are being ingrained into me or something along those lines. So maybe she's been cursed with wisdom. She learned something new. I don't know. She has magicite now, I'm assuming. Yay. She can... I wonder if she was, she's gonna be ever able to use magic like naturally. Not naturally, but pseudo naturally. If that makes any sense. Also interesting conversation because uh, one of the reasons why I thought that Yuffie was saying all this stuff in her head, the whole thing about if you didn't come and rescue me on that day, blah blah blah. Uh, I thought she was saying that herself because she's always been kind of reserved with how she feels. And it feels like, it feels like she's growing more and more and just becoming more and more open towards Anis. So that's always good. Okay, this is good. I like this. I like this episode a lot. Uh, nothing much to say to be honest. I'm going to check my notes. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're done. Uh, I think, I hope we're going to get more of the whole thematic... The, 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 I hope we're going to explore the theme of making the impossible possible uh, later on. Because uh, that felt like a really good thing to focus on. Especially with the fact that uh, Anis doesn't have any magic. She has mana, I guess, but she doesn't have magic per se, if you will. Um, so, dogs are barking. Those aren't ours. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> but um, that would be super interesting to see that. Um, uh, something that she admired Yuffie for and just admired the world that she's in for. And then create, and then have that for herself. That's super interesting. <sighs> I think we're done. So, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion with the you might go on else, you can do that in the link below. It would really help out, you don't have to, but again, that would mean the world to me. Also, get to vote on polls. There's probably two polls right there, or it's three, I'm not entirely sure by the time this airs. Uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye! -bye.